This is our site at the Elwha Dam RV Park. There's the office in the green right there, and I think that's probably where the owners live as well. You come up in there to check out. We are in site nine, which is nice because you have this big open space here where there's a picnic table and we have a fire pit. And then right across from us is the communal garden where you can just come and pick any fresh fruits or vegetables that you want and keep, which is super cool. There's a clubhouse up there where there's restroom, showers, laundry. We haven't had to use any of that, so I don't know a lot of details about all those features. Got a little volleyball court set up. It's a really smoky day here at Olympic because we are dealing with all the fires nearby in Washington and Oregon. And if I come around here, you can see the sites are pretty close together. So you can see everybody's pretty snug together. And here's where our hookups are. We're pretty close to the neighbors. The girls thought the slide outs were going to hit when we opened it. We're not quite that close. That was an exaggeration, but you can see where we have our setup. Um, the sewer setup was pretty dirty when we came in. Uh, Jeremy was super grossed out and actually wanted to shower after he hooked up the sewer tank because it was that gross and dirty. But that was probably just more a function of the last person who was there than the park in itself. Pretty quiet around here. So last night, which was a Saturday, by, you know, 9 o'clock, it was all quiet and everybody was snugged and tucked away in their RVs. Pretty close to Olympic National Park. We're probably only uh, 10 minutes from one of the entrances. So it's a nice location if you're wanting to visit Hurricane Ridge and Soul Duck. And that was kind of my point in staying on this end of the park right now is to see those two places. The RV park also has a bit of a playground and you can see these different wood carved sculptures that they have throughout here, which was kind of a neat feature and unique maybe for the area with these giant big trees making these cool sculpted items. And you can see more sites up here. These are mostly more back in, so they're a little bit smaller. It took us about 30 minutes to drive around Lake Crescent and get to the um, road that takes you up to Soul Duck Falls. So that wasn't too bad. That puts it in a little bit closer location than a lot of other RV parks would be. And going up and viewing Soul Duck Falls is amazing. Highly recommend it on your Olympic National Park tour. This is just a great site to see. There's also an RV park that is over here that's nearby if you want to just stay up here at Soul Duck Falls. But we also wanted to check out Hurricane Ridge. So we wanted to be closer to either Lake Crescent or Port Angeles or at Elwha Dam, which is where we ended up staying. So this is a view of Lake Crescent. As you can see, it's really smoky, so you're not seeing very much, but you're pretty close. Uh, this is where we actually hiked and went over to Marimare Falls, which is just off of Lake Crescent and pretty close if you're staying at Elwha Dam. A few things to know on Elwha Dam. I think I booked this in January for September. So this video is from September 2020 and I booked it in January to make sure that we had the site. It does fill up pretty quickly here. Total cost was about $56 a night. Here's that hike up to Merrimere Falls. And if you wanna see more about Olympic National Park, we have a whole video on just Olympic National Park with highlights and recommendations for hiking and things to know with your families. This park is only about 15 minutes from the Hurricane Ridge Visitor Center. And then it's a long road up Hurricane Ridge, about 30 minutes. And we hiked Hurricane Hill, which was a really awesome hike, even on a smoky day. Overall, this was a nice RV park and a great location if you're wanting to see both Soul Duck Falls area, Lake Crescent and Hurricane Ridge. Please let me know if you like this video or have any comments. Also, feel free to subscribe. We do other video reviews of places where we go and things that we've seen. You can follow us at Facebook at RV Homeschool or Instagram. Thanks.